All right, so before we move any further, like this video and subscribe to my channel and click the bell so that you can know when I'm uploading videos. So I decided to do a transparency video today about my true feelings about surgery and all the things that come along with it, my current thoughts, my goals, and all of that good stuff because, you know, surgery can be taxing and y'all been following my journey so you know how it's been. But before we move forward, let's just take another 360 view. So here's a front, right? We're in the size medium. Have on my third. Uh, I, I just got able to get back in my mediums from having my 360. So I'm on my third hook, uh, second hook on the top, because I don't want it too tight. I want to be able to move my body. I don't want to put indentions or anything like that. So I try to make sure that it's not too tight because I don't want that. But here we are. First front side view, right? I like the silhouette. He did very well. Very, 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 very. They did very well. Natural eye on the back. The same. And then to the side, it's the same. So let's have a seat on the couch and talk about my feelings. Here we go. Here is an example of something that perhaps we haven't seen. doing like the video and subscribe to my channel so that you know when I'm uploading videos and don't forget to click the bell all right so a lot of people have been asking me so do you plan on getting more surgeries and um, how are you feeling with your body so far and are you still wearing your faha and all of the different stuff and the answer to that is it's loaded, so let me just dive in. I'm still wearing my thigh. I wear it all the time. Um, I really do. I wear it all the time. I uh, maybe don't wear it on Saturdays or Sunday. I may give my body a breather because after the faha, your body has to know what to do, right? You're not going to always be wearing it. So what does your body going to do after you've been protecting the investment? That's what it all boils down to. So no, I I do wear it while I'm at work. So Monday through Friday, on the weekends, I don't wear it. I, I wash all of my files on the weekend um, and I prepare for the week day so I can put them back on again. Um, so yeah, uh, I do wear my files. I'm also still getting my massages. I don't get them all the time, but I do get my massages. I feel like Sometimes my body still needs that extra like push to um, get my lymphatic system jumping. So I may not go all the time. I may like go. I may go once every two weeks, um, or on occasions when I feel like I'm bloated. I have water on me. I, I just when I can't fit in my medium. When I've eaten something that I shouldn't have ate that was salty. Um, all of that, I can. I'll go or if I have not worn my faha on Saturday and Sunday and then I was sitting all day long um, that can cause my stomach to crease or cause it to have a knot on the top and at the bottom and then I have to get it worked out um, what else so somebody also asked if I was going, to, if I was thinking about having more surgeries. I cannot lie. I thought about it. And I'm not sure what I would even get done, but I have thought about it. And this is when I say I'm 100% sure I have an addictive personality because this is why I've got tattoos. Um, uh, when it comes to like surgeries, it is addicting. When I say addicting, I, I, I never understood how somebody could just get off the table and talk about having a round two, or they could be having a round three, 
or they are literally getting all of this stuff done. I'm like, well, dang, how many charges you, how many charges you finna get? I now understand it. We be like the stars, the the the, the people that um, the celebrities. So why is it that they can get one surgery and then they can't stop, or they keep getting them over and over and over again? It is addicting because I have had thoughts. I've had thoughts. And once a doctor gets on my mind, I started researching and all of this stuff. And Dr. Triggs from Fixin has been on my mind and how he does his bodies. And so the thought has crossed my mind. But full transparency, I just can't even see me being in a Faha for another year. It's been two years so far. Like it's been, okay, this is, that's, that's an exaggeration, but you know what I'm saying. It's been since uh, September of 21, we in 22. And I just can't see me being in a Faha for another year. Like I just refuse to do it. So it's not even that it's the surgery, it's, it's the aftercare. It's the being in pain again. It's the emotional taxing part of it. If, if, if. If I don't have to worry about pre-care, pre well, post-care, or wait, no, post-op care, and I don't have to worry about uh, Fahas again, or the mental that you go through, your girl will be trying to get surgery again. I mean, I'm just being completely honest. Um, I don't know what it is. There's something about it, neither here nor there, but that's just my thoughts. So. Yes, to answer the question, I've been thinking about it. Um, if I were to go back, I would probably do upper back. And maybe arms, but I'm doing good on my arms, so I don't know. I may just do upper back. And then have him do a revision on like my sides, where I think I should have been more f flat. Um, they're not dog ears. But in that area, and it's not really a problem, but to me, it's a problem. Um, also, a back lift because how my body is made. If I got lipo to the back, that's not a that's not a guarantee that my back is gonna be flat. It's just not. I'm gonna have to get a back lift. But then, do I want more scars? So it's just, ugh, it's just so much to think about. So. To answer the question, yes, I've thought about it. I have. Um, someone also asked if I regret, if I regret going to Mia. I'm gonna say no, I don't. With all the stuff that's happening and all of that, um, I, I see the stuff that's happening in the, in the blogs and um, on the Facebook pages, but no, I don't have any curls with Mia. I, my surgeries, were, they, were, they were fine with this, with the exception of me thinking that, you know, I was gypped on my 360, but that was to save my life. So I was okay with that. Now that I'm thinking, now that I think back, that's, that's fine. But, um, no, I honestly feel like Mia did me good. Like Mia don't owe me anything. I asked Dr. Rain for a natural mommy makeover. He did it. Like, I don't have to always wear a bra. If I wanted to wear a dress that didn't that was strapless or a dress that um was backless I, I don't have to wear a bra i don't so i'm okay with that um my scars he didn't he didn't do me uneven so i'm okay with my scars but i have been using lux heel um and i'll show y'all i know i've been saying it but i'll show you the results i want to make sure that i can adequately say it works before i start telling y'all go get this so no, I'll post that a little bit later after I continue to use it. Give me like 30 days and I'll and I'll post a review on it. Um what I was saying. Girl, I lost my mind. What I was saying. Oh. Like the rain. He did me well. He did. Um I asked him to put me back to default settings before I had kids and he did that. Dr. Ziakis. I mean, if I look at my, my waist is a size 23 and my back is, is, is slimmed down. So he did egg exactly what I asked. 
I just wish, I don't know. But maybe it's, it's upper back lipo. I don't know. Maybe because I it's it stops with the bra strap, so maybe that's one of those gray areas. Who knows? But I do know if you get lipo 360 and a BBL, they do your entire back. So that's included. So I have yet to understand why they don't include it with this regular lipo 360 without the BBL. Hmm. I don't know I'm, I'm gonna think on that I, don't, I have no idea I might look at that see what's going on with that but either here or there um one of the questions were what was I asked because it's so easy for me just to ask the question or answer the questions um via like a video versus me sending all the responses back because they get lost <sighs> what else oh somebody said I thought you were so against Miami and I was like so my response is yeah, I'm definitely not liking Miami still when it comes to surgeries, but Dr. Triggs at Vixen has piqued my interests and I'm starting to research, but honestly, I'm not even sure I would go to Vixen. I mean, I don't know. I can't even, I can't even let that come out of my mouth. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I've been working hard at getting my body back to post-op status because guess what weight gain is real when you like are down for the count so imagine having like a 360 and you cannot work out but you're hungry how do you keep that weight off it's hard and i'm gonna be honest my post-op weight was 193 When I went to the weight loss clinic and the nutritionist, I was at 216 pounds. I had gained. So although I'm, protect, I'm protecting the investment and doing all of these things, so although I am protecting the investment and I am like doing all of these things to keep my keep my my figure right but the eating I didn't compensate for the eating because when you eat and you can't work out scientifically speaking you're going to gain weight and I did so you have to find a way to get back into it so you're not gaining that weight because that's one of my struggles now like losing the weight now granted thank god I've lost 15 pounds so now I'm I'm back to, you know, 200, but I'm not back to 193. And that's a problem. So I really can't be like, oh, my results is not great because I, I, I gained. Now, is, is my waist small? Yeah. Like, it's little. But, I mean, if I'm being honest, I just, I'm just one that carries my weight very well. That doesn't mean I want to carry the weight. See what I'm saying? So weight gain is real. If you're going to get this surgery, any surgery, have a strategy and a plan for after care. Meaning, what can you do to stay active? Making yourself stay active. Um, making sure that you do all you can so you're not gaining weight. Because when I tell you it is hard getting weight off, it is hard. So I had to resort to going um, to the weight loss place and I started with Ozempic, with Gobi. It's megalotide. And I think I posted about that a little while ago. And it, what it does is it craves your appetite. Um, it has helped me tremendously. Because I can't do Adapex. I can't do none of that crazy stuff. But this is FDA approved. It's very expensive. But it's worth it. Because it's getting me back to where I need to be. Um, give me, give me, give me, the, it's giving me that little, little edge I need to lose this weight. Um, but it's hard, but what else? I would just say my overall experience with Mia aesthetics has been pleasant, very pleasant. Um, I don't have a, I don't have a bad thing to say about Dr. Rain or Dr. Ziakis. Uh, what I recommend them to somebody, I don't know. Because 
people change, times change, procedures change. Um, so I, I don't know what they, I, I don't know because they can, they can be busy and overwhelmed and then that can lead to their work. So I don't know. I just know my journey with them was extremely positive. Um, somebody asked me a question and I'll end with this. Somebody asked me a question in regards to the paperwork and they were like, well, you sign paperwork. So why is it that um, the assistant gets to work on you um, when it comes to lipo? 360 or procedures when you're down and you're out well in that paperwork it does stay and I'm gonna just like I'm going to check my own self I didn't read it all but I got a copy of it it does state that an assistant may be doing your procedures and you signed it. Now, this is with Mia Aesthetics. I don't nobody, I know about nobody else, but Mia slips it on in there. I think it's after the last document that you put your initials on, like the 17th document. And so if you don't want the assistant working on you, I recommend you not signing that piece of paper. That doesn't like mess up your pre-op or anything like that. That's just saying I don't want the I don't I don't agree for the assistant to work on me. So, um, just know what you, know what you are reading. Um, understand it. Ask questions. Don't just sign stuff. Because when we're in pre-op, we're just, just signing. I mean, they have a clipboard. It's just like a bunch of stuff. It's paper that you buy in a house or a car. It's just like, oh, my God, sign. Oh, my God, sign. There's more. Wait, there's more. Sign. And so, don't let them rush you. Because you have time. Read everything. Take your time and um, stay calm during pre-op and don't feel pressured. What else? Um, oh, have I tried other Fajas? Yeah, I've tried Tributo. Let's just say I would never, ever put that on my body again in life. But I have heard that Lux Hill has Fajas. I don't know about Lux Hill Fajas. I mean... I don't know about them, so I have never had them before, so I can't really vouch for it. I thought about trying it, but honestly, I got triggers because it looked like a tributo fire. So, <laughs> so not good for me. Uh, what else? I think that's it. Um, I just wanted to address some of the questions because it's easy for me just to get on a video and just talk about it versus just texting. But I will go on and try to answer as many comments as I possibly can. But I will say, if you have any questions about surgeries or research or things like that, just go back and look at my previous videos. Because I have a lot of information in there um, and how I got prepared, how I got ready, how I got, you know, uh, mentally prepared, how I mentally crumbled after my surgeries. Like, all of that is, like, in there. So, take your time, check out my videos, and don't forget, like this video and subscribe to my channel and click the bell. I don't upload a lot. I don't upload often because I don't want to over. I don't want to overload y'all. But I upload stuff that needs to be said and understood. I'm gonna upload a video on Friday about liposuction. So sleep lipo versus awake lipo. You don't want to miss that video. So don't forget like and subscribe to my channel. See y'all.